Hello, this is a trade site market preview for Friday, July 12th, 2013. We keep this brief as we often do for the Friday sessions. Here's a look at the S&P daily chart. This is the S&P 500. Uh, we were nine bars up two days ago, which sort of gives us uh, a lot of times a, a pause point in the market, but we gapped up once again Thursday and uh, kept going on this gap. I'll show you the action that we've seen so far this week, intraday. I think it'll be clearer just what we've done. I mean, basically the s and is up uh, 50 points or so in the last week, but a lot of it's on gaps and that's not as clear on this chart. What is important though on this chart is the trend line that we had followed for a long time that started last November and had bounced off of it a few times, attempted to break in April and came back up, finally got our break and confirmation and retest here. Uh, and now we've come back up to that line. So it's going to be interesting to see you know, if this wasn't the actual retest back in June, but rather just all this was a break, this is your could be your retest stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how we play uh, with this level in general. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, NASDAQ 100 as well. And it's uh, closing here at new highs for the year. And that's interesting by itself. And also point out Google, which is going to be one of our picks for tomorrow on Friday. Uh, it'll be nine bars up today, as you can see, if I extend this into projection mode, there's your nine bar up, but at the same time this is a really nice uh, cup formation and ru rumors have persisted that Google is on the verge of announcing uh, new 7 inch and potentially 11 inch tablets along with their new uh, phones from Motorola, so that could be what's driving this and unfortunately if they do it in the afternoon after the market one day we may get a gap, but we'll see either way. Uh, now let's take a look at the ES, this is the S&P E-mini futures contracts for the week, just to give you an idea, this was where we closed last Friday, and again, Friday was uh, kind of dull because we had uh, the 4th of July holiday on Thursday, so Friday was just kind of wedged in there, but you can see that uh, with about an hour left back on Friday, we'd been under 16.20. We pushed up almost to 16.30 for the close on Friday. We gapped up Monday, but then look how flat this is, right? There's really not a lot of action. Volume was uh, not great at all. It actually got uh, worse uh, later on the next day of the week and then even worse on Wednesday. So uh, here's the look at the flat action and then another gap up. We tried to come back and fill that gap and we did not. Came back up and overall just completely flat right here in this range. You can see the uh, the 13 sell signal here on this 10 minute chart ends up giving you a top for a day and a half here in the market. And we kind of wiggled after there were some comments when this Fed uh, notes from the last Fed announcement came out right here. So Wednesday finally got a flat opening dead flat session, wiggled after the Fed, but came right back and closed right here, right where we kind of opened. And then we come into Thursday and we have this huge gap up and we go fairly flat after that and then drift higher into the afternoon. So you know, if you add this up, a good chunk of this quote unquote 50 point move on the S&P uh, has been gaps really and we have not filled them. Uh, a little different story on the NASDAQ side, I'll show you the uh, the look at the NASDAQ futures. So we gapped up Monday, we did fill the gap Monday on the NASDAQ side, we actually went negative for a part of the session and then closed even from Friday's close. Gapped up again Tuesday, came back and exactly filled the gap. Talk about 80% of gaps filling the same day. Uh, this Two of them filled here. They didn't fill in the ES, and so a little more action on the on the Nasdaq side. Opened flat on Wednesday, headed higher, and then Thursday this this really large, really large gap up. So uh, the Nasdaq up almost a hundred points uh, in in the last uh, four sessions, uh, but of course a good thirty of it right here in the gap Thursday morning that never was tradable. And some of these mornings have had gaps that had to then fill and come back. So strange week in general. Volume has been light. It was better uh, on Thursday than the rest of the week. And it'll be interesting to see how that trend line on the S&P, what that means for the market here as we continue to push based on the fact that the Fed seems to be saying that there's no slowdown to, uh, to their pump that they've been doing. So we'll see how that holds up. Uh, we'll be trading it Friday in the lab as usual and have uh, all of next week a normal week with options expiration uh, for the month of July. Have a great weekend and we'll see you in the lab.